All right, so today I'm gonna be showing how to do a 3D motion tracking tutorial. So what you need is After Effects, of course, and um, a plugin called Element. If you guys search around YouTube, you guys will find more information about Element. But nevertheless, let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so after you have After Effects open, this is not a um, detailed tutorial. I am not a an expert on After Effects myself. I don't use it that often, so I didn't use it for um, motion tracking. So now what you want to do is just cl click on your um, file, but first find wherever you want your um, tracking to be. And so right click on your file, track and stabilize, and track camera. And also this should be popping up on the top left um, and under advanced. Um, check detail analysis, which will um, make your 3D better, tracking better. So after it's finished um, tracking, what you want to do is now um, click on 3D camera tracker until you see um, these points. Now find wherever you want your thing to be and note that this is not saying stone, you can always move it. it this is just a general idea for the positioning. And yeah, so just click knowing camera and you should have these. And just don't worry about these right now. It doesn't matter. Now, what you want to do is new solid, and this is where your element plugin is going to go. Just name it element, and now you want to go to effects, video copilot, element on the solid. And now you want to do is new and text. This is where your text, so you can customize this. So, however you customize this is however you want, or your preferences. So, I'm just going to do what I did in my going bad montage. So, I'm just going to make it big, a little bit bigger. that now you want to go you want to click on your element go on customize layer custom layer um, text and mask and path layer one set it to your text now uncheck this go to this um, texture map drop down layer one and click it to your video file and do the same for your render settings physical environment override layer in your video file so now this is where you um, create your 3d text so you click on your scene setup what you want to do is extrude and this is where your um, text is now you click on your environment and customize custom layer one and what should be your um, whatever your name for your file is and click OK and now uh, if you want it thicker like width just um, come down to bevel scale and just like extend how long however you want increase it decrease it i like that this should be good for me now this is where you can customize your text go to um, extrusion model down arrow and bevel one now scroll down until you see um basic settings the fuse color and just set whatever color you want so like any color of your choice i'm just gonna i'm just gonna click any color blue sure like that and now you can go to um, reflectivity um, click the same color um, so copy and paste it and now intensity set all the way to 100 so now if you slowly um, go across you can see like ref reflections that's really cool right yeah so you're done click OK and now you have this right in front of you so just like hide it hide the text and now you have this. So now it's just all basically an element. So you wanna go to group one. Um, and here's your positioning. Go to particle replicator. And this is where you can position all your um, your text. Boom, boom. So what you wanna do now is go to track no one and click on P. And then this is the positioning of what you, the little point that you chose. So go to P and then just like copy, um, the numbers in each it's okay so x y z this one's x this one's y and this one's z x y z all right so this place where they want for they're supposed to go and then you should have it right here where my track is perfectly now i can delete this you don't need that anymore and i don't want it there so it looks bad if you know what i mean so we can just like change it right now um, let's see. Boom. Oop. Uh. There you go. 
go. That looks pretty good. So I kind of messed up on this like cinematic. It's a bit towards the left a bit and the right. Is, it's not even, so it doesn't matter. And now Z is four and out, like four and out. So I'm not gonna mess with this. I'm just gonna um go to particle looks and then this is the size. So I just extend it a bit bigger and then yeah. And now it's slowly coming out. So it's gonna stay in the middle. I actually want it to come out a little bit more. There we go. I'm, this is just a tutorial. I'm not gonna get into in depth this. All right, so how you um, do all the scatter thing on example like screen right now, we're all just like, like touching each other, like scatter around and then it slowly comes in. So what you wanna do is um, go down on multi-objects, sh check enable multi-objects. Now go down to under rotations and you should see rotation random or whatever that says RA. And you wanna click on like click on the timer and then you'll go back to your composition, click on new under elements, and that should pop up. And now you want to like just rotate it however you want. Now if you see some like whatever like right here, it's all just like moving as one, not individually. What you want to do is go back to your text right here and just like spread out like with me like spread each of them out by itself like that now it should be like individually scattered and then you want to go forward a bit however long you want and click on zero now if you watch it back it just slowly goes back like slowly you can extend it however long you want i'm just gonna take it like this and that's how you get a scatter effects so what we're gonna do now is go to render um settings and go to lighting and add lighting right here you can just choose whatever preset you want um whatever goes throughout the color clean blue single light warm yeah so i'm just gonna go with spot blue for now it kind of matches it and go to additional lighting let's go up like 133 yeah so that gives it extra like glow lights towards it now next you want to add some shadows go so go to um ambient occlusion enable this and just like i like mine at like 32 and 16 and just make the intensity a little bit around six and then just like mess around this is all personal preference i'm just doing it to show you guys you can do this i got some shadows like fully some shadows nice look nice looking now after you're done with this, here's another thing you can do is um, go to output, um, go to sampling analysis, analysing, whatever it's called, and just make, and just change this, increase it like one, two, three, four. It just gives like a, like a nice edge, like smooth edge around the text. So just make it however long you how much you want. And if you just go more, you can just make it kind of blurry and stuff like that. So I wouldn't recommend more than five so yeah that's pretty much it now you just render this so if you just watch it forward like that i just keep staying with the location the position you want and that's pretty much how you do 3d motion tracking boys and girls so if you have any questions comment down below dm me on any social medias and yeah make sure to subscribe and like and see you guys later Bitch.